Ever wonder what it's like to be an aviator? Well, this is an exciting age in the aviation industry. In fact, it's the perfect time to give you an inside look at many of the awesome opportunities available in the field of aviation maintenance, setting you on your own flight path toward this amazing career. Right now is one of the best times to get involved with this industry. The opportunities are endless right now. There is a career path that you can come right out of high school and in a fairly short amount of time join the workforce making a very good salary, working for companies that will provide you a career. And I think aviation and especially aviation maintenance is one of those that you can make a good living and have a good life. We feel it's always a good time to reach out and get involved in aviation. There's so many different aspects of it and there's so many things that you can learn and when you start learning in aviation, you don't stop learning until you retire. You've heard of economy up and downs, but you know, aviation is always there. We just love airplanes. We love to watch them fly. We love to fix them. We love to clean them. We just love airplanes. And that's what aviators are all about. Aviators, just listen to the word aviators. It makes the hair raise up on your arms. Aviators, it sounds like pioneers. So how do you get started in aviation maintenance? The Federal Aviation Administration has launched a program to connect you, students interested in aviation maintenance, with local facilities through internships and job shadow programs. The FAA is also spreading the word about these sweet career opportunities by reaching out to future aviators at air shows like Kid Venture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. What we've done this past year in the Aircraft Maintenance Division is we've initiated a goal. It's all about outreach to the younger generation. My name is Tyler and I'm going to be an aviator. My name is Lisa and I want to be an aviator. My name is Zoe and I want to be an aviator. Being here at Kid Venture is an amazing experience for me. Recently I've been very involved in reaching out into our local community and speaking with children of all ages. And what we're finding is there's such a lack of awareness of aviation as a career opportunity, a career path. Perfect, let's take a look at that. We have a hangar where we do two venues. One is an operation side, which is all the pilot aspects for kids. And the other is the maintenance side, which does all the maintenance aspects for kids. It's all hands-on. We're building a small experimental airplane in the hangar. We have several power plants, reciprocating engines, where the kids actually hands-on take cylinders off, take pistons off, split the crankcase, and then they put it all back together again. Just reaching out into the community, we've seen an amazing interest, growth in interest. I want to build my own airplanes, then fly them. I want to design airplanes, and I'm done with school. I want to be a mechanical engineer for aviation. Once you get bit by the aviation bug, the airplane bug, you're bit for life. And it's just something that you love. You love to do, you love to do it every single day. You stop and watch airplanes fly. I love aviation. I recommend it to everybody. We're very engaged with local high schools and we're constantly bringing kids to this facility, shadowing our technicians that just love working with them. And we figure if we can get a few kids coming through, once they get around the aircraft and get bit by the bug, then we got it hooked for life. Employment in aviation is projected to grow by at least 6% by 2020. Add to that the increased amount of retirees and the opportunities in the field of aviation are in the stratosphere. Every day, new and more modern aircraft are being built. These new planes have state-of-the-art electronics in the cockpit that rival some of the best video games on the market. There's a, a wide range of interests, everything from a mechanical side. Uh, you know, if you look at an airplane behind you, it's got physical aspects to it, landing gear and wings and so forth, engines, that uh, if you're you know, kind of a hands-on type of person, uh, there's that aspect of aviation maintenance. But there's also, uh, in today's airplanes, the electronics part of it is just, just exploding. Uh, the airplanes today are all run by computers. Our maintenance folks use a laptop as much as they use a wrench today. We work on all different systems on the aircraft, you know, from changing a tire to diagnosing a complex navigational database issue or flight management system. If you look in an, in an aircraft now in the, uh, the cockpit, 
it, it's no more steam gauges. There's nothing in there other than short of uh, CRTs that look like the, the best video games built. You walk in the cockpit, it's like it's like a spaceship. It's just really advanced, and it's it's getting more advanced. And that's one of the things that kept me interested all the years. It's just the challenge of something new, finding new issues and problems, and finding solutions to those problems is, is a really a good feeling that uh, most of us AMPs harbor. That's what we want to do, is feel good about fixing something. Your next step towards jumping into a career in aviation maintenance is to get your ANP certificate, or Airframe and Power Plant Certification. It's just an 18-month course, 1,900 hours. And after completing ANP school, you'll receive your graduation certificate. Take that to your local Flight Standards District office and get permission to take your written, practical, and oral test to become a certified AMP technician. Then boom, you're well on your way to a high-flying career in the cutting-edge world of aviation.